Hello everybody, Salter Sweet Ren here, back with another episode of the Sims 3 Warriors Create Your Cat series. Now, for those of you who don't know, or may be new to the channel, this series is one in which I take cats that the viewers have submitted, and I do my best to create them within The Sims 3. These can be your OCs, they can be cats that you own, they can be made up off the top of your head, whatever. And the cat that you have submitted will be added to the World of My Warrior Cats Challenge at a later date, and may turn up somewhere in the future. These can be loners, kitty pets, rogues, wanderers, maybe even former clan cats. Just like the cats that started the whole thing, like from Thunder Clan, River Clan, Wind Clan, Shadow Clan, even Sky Clan. And even if you don't have a cat to submit, that's fine. You can share the series with a friend who might be interested in having their cat make an appearance, or go ahead and just spread the word in general. But as another note, um, because the list is starting to fill up a bit more, which is really fun, but um, because it's starting to fill up, I'm going to give priority to people who have not had their cats made in this series yet. So if you've already submitted a cat that has been made in a previous episode, you'll probably have to wait a, quite a while before I get to another one of your cats. I'll still get to them eventually, but for now I'm, putting, I'm prioritizing people who I have not been able to get to yet. And again, because The Sims 3 has been giving me a little bit of trouble, I'm only going to be doing two cats this time. But with all that said, let's go ahead and start with the first cat. Alright. So, the first cat was submitted by Gardner Golfi. They actually submitted two cats. And the first cat is Tiger Burr. So I'm going to go ahead and put in Tiger Burr. And, um, let's see, she is a she-cat. And I think she's an ex-clan cat, based on the backstory, so let's go ahead and say ex-clan. Okay, so for her appearance, she is a large cat with a thick pelt a round, and a round face. Her pelt is gray, but fades into light brown on her back. She has black mackerel stripes. She has tufted and black-tipped ears and yellow-green eyes. So let's go ahead and like see what would be a good base for that. She's a large cat. With a thick pelt and a round face. Right off the bat, I want to go with Maine Coon, actually. So where is the Maine Coon? Ah, here it is. This is fun to use as a base for a thicker furred cat. I think that this could be... This may be fun to start with. So let's see, her pelt... Her pelt is gray, but it fades into light brown on her back once this actually loads up. Here we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and just start with the white pelt and we can like start changing up the colors as we go along. Because I wind up- I always wind up going ahead and changing stuff anyway. So delete that. Let's see, she- her pelt is gray. So, let's go ahead and kind of tweak it a little closer to the brown. Not quite brown, but just a little closer. There we go. We'll start with a gray pelt that I've kind of tweaked it a little closer to the brown. Just so that when I have the thing that fades into light brown, it'll blend in a lot more easily. So I'm going to find a marking that should hopefully... I can put this on her back. Maybe this might be a little better. I don't know. I want it to be something that when it's on her back, like you can actually see that it has blended in. This in and of itself may be a maybe decent kind of extend just a little bit to the tail. Not completely. Just a little bit up there. Let's see, let's make it a light brown. So let me pull it there. Let's see if I 
That's kind of a fun light brown. I'm probably going to want to have it a little bit more... Just faded just a bit more, like that. Probably also extend it upwards like that. And maybe stretch it a little bit off to one side, a little bit off to the other side. Uh, that kind of reaches all the way to the belly. I actually don't quite want that, I don't think. I might actually just to kind of emphasize the whole like light brown on the back. Like so. This I may also lower the opacity of so it looks more faded. Okay. I think that is kind of more well faded into the fur. Okay, so uh, she also has black mackerel stripes. Let me go ahead and double check what mackerel stripes are, because there's a lot of different kinds of stripes, but hang on. Alright, so the pictures that I'm getting mostly tend to be uh, stripes that are somewhat broken up. Not completely solid, they're a little bit broken up. But they're also not like the... They're kind of like this, except that they're slightly more solid, but they're not quite this, either. They're like this kind of in-between. Is there an in-between that I can find somewhere? Let's see, I already know that's not it. I mean, not unless... Nah, that's not it. I wonder if I could, like, take this and then merge it with this somehow? That doesn't quite look right. Hmm. It may be the best I can do based on what the pictures depict. See, there's supposed to be black stripes too, so I'll go ahead and do black there and black there and let's go ahead and get that above, maybe? Kinda looks more like a mess than an actual pattern. Um, can I get rid of that? I mean, I don't know, like, that could be about right. Like, some of the pictures do depict basically this pattern. Um, let's see, this is a... I found a chart that shows the different kinds. Um, this is broken mackerel, but this is a broken mackerel pattern, and then the mackerel pattern is basically this. So do, do I want to go with broken mackerel or regular mackerel, basically? Hmm. I mean... Okay, I might go with the broken because it looks close- it looks closer to the mackerel, I think, that I've been seeing in a lot of stuff. Oh, but this is also pretty good. I kind of want to do the merge, actually. I kind of want to merge the two kinds. So I might take this one and do one of the other types. Um, I don't know. This is hard to decide. Why is this pattern so hard to figure out?
Let's see if I did another... That's not quite what I want to go with. I actually got a different idea. I'm going to stick with this, but on top of it, I'm going to add another layer and go into regular markings. And the where is... There we go. I don't usually no use this for stripes, but I think right now it's what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and make that black. Double check and see if it's working on the opposite side. Yep. Might do that. Pull it up just a bit, like up here. Okay, and then I can bring it here. This could actually work. Maybe. Maybe. It's pretty solid, maybe. If you ever saw a cat with this pattern in real life, I'd be surprised. It's like this specific pattern. But, I think this is about what I'm gonna go with. And on the legs, too, I think. Let me go ahead and spin this around for this leg. Pull it over here. And... Get it about right for... This leg, or I might actually... That could work. Then I'll go ahead and that leg over here, shrink it down just a bit. And I think I've got that. I might also put some like better stripes on the face as well. Let me go ahead and go into... See, I know that there's some decent black stripes. Like so. That's an okay one. That's okay as well. That might be the one I go with, I think. Possibly. Hmm. Or actually, this looks... I like this one, I think. I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, I think that this works. Doing the macro pattern... It'll be an interesting cat for sure. Okay, let's see. The light brown looks a little too orangey now. For some reason, it's looking a little too orange in my mind. Let's pull it just a little darker. It could just be because the black is on top, actually. That might be it. Because the black is on top, it doesn't quite... This does work out pretty well, I do think, actually. So we've already got a pretty thick pelt. What should I do for the fur density, like super dense or super fluffy or maybe right in the middle there's only like five different settings this one you can kind of like see kind of the fluff oh and there's even a little bit of curliness in the fur I didn't even realize um I think I'll put her fur at about here maybe you can still kind of see where the fluff is. She's a very pretty cat, though. So now we have her pelt all figured out. Let's go ahead and start working on her body type. She is a large cat. 
So I'll go ahead and... Where's cat size? There it is. Maybe up to the I, maybe even the Z. I normally don't go beyond, like... And I normally don't go beyond the Z. I'm probably gonna put it, like, right up here. She's a big cat. She might be one of the biggest cats I've made, actually. <laughs> but... Let's see, I'll probably put her, like, about the eye, actually. Hmm. Nah, the Z. I kind of want to start playing around with slightly more visible uh, differences. Or maybe it's just because I recently saw Vixen's, Vixen Star and Clay side by side and realized that they were about the same height. Even though Clay was supposed to be a pretty massive cat, then she's also she seems to be a bigger cat. Either way, we'll go ahead and have her with a pretty big cat size, body thickness. Let's go ahead and make her a little bit more muscular. Let's see if I can get the let's see if I can get the legs working. Let's see, is there a four legs? A four leg scale. Okay, four leg scale. I can do apparently. I cannot do four leg scale. I still kind of messed up a bit. Hind leg scale though should work. No, it's not working. Why is it that sometimes they work and sometimes they don't? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out at some point. Cause that's weird. That is just weird. See chest scale. Let's go ahead and max that out. Kind of give her a little bit more of a powerful build here. And um, see her face is round. It says so. Let's let's go ahead and do the head. See her head profile is pretty okay. Forehead height, maybe increase a little bit. Skull shape, yeah, let's keep it round. Head shape, I mean, this seems pretty round to me. Or it could just be me. I don't know. Head width. Yeah, something a little, a little more like that, I think. Then when she sits, we'll be able to do. Okay, ears. She has tufted and black-tipped ears. Her ears don't even have any black. I'm gonna have to go back into her pelt and change that. So let me pull up your pelt once again, sweetie. Let's give you some black-tipped ears. Once it pops up. Where is... Okay, this should be it, yeah? Okay. Making them tufted... I don't know if I can do... T if I can do, like, ear tufts. But I can tweak the ears to kind of... Maybe if I have, like, the ear tips kind of pointed outwards, it would kind of look tufted, in a way? Like, let's see, ear position height, still on the top of the head, ear tip angle, kind of like that. I don't know. We'd also want to change, change the ear shape as well. Ear width. Probably figure it out at some point. Ear scale, maybe a bit larger? How come it was in the middle and your ears were... Oh well. Okay. 
Then you have yellow green eyes. So your eyes do have yellow and green in them, but it's not necessarily a yellow green color. So let's go ahead and change that. Kind of bring that to a yellow green color. This, let's move a little more towards a greenish color. Maybe a little more on the yellow side there. This, let's go ahead and make this kind of a bright yellow green. That should be fun. Nose. Uh, nose I could probably actually like pull over here maybe. This could work. I, I do actually really like this. I really like the way that she's turned out. I think this is Tiger Burr. So let me go into personality. And let's see. Her personality is that she is quiet and soft spoken. She does not like she does not talk to other cats often. In fact, she dislikes conversations quite a bit. Tiger Burr is fairly closed off. She doesn't share her thoughts or emotions very often. However, she is passionate about fixing the warrior code, as she believes that it is flawed. Clan cats are too aggressive and violent towards other cats, and constantly look down upon cats with differing opinions and beliefs, she thinks. Tiger Burr knows she is also guilty of this, but wants to change and be less violent. Tiger Burr is a big cat, but doesn't seem to understand her own size and strength very well. She puts too much force behind her movements and sometimes hurts cats during training. Tiger Burr is closed off, but if you take the time to befriend her and earn her trust, she'll follow you forever. Tiger Burr sometimes hears whispers of Star Clan cats, but tries to ignore them. Tiger Burr was a former Thunder Clan cat before the clans fell apart. She was a high ranking warrior who other cats looked up to. Unknown to them, Tiger Burr had a secret mate outside the clans. Her mate was Viper, a rogue and Tiger Burr met up with her often. It is said that Viper was the cat Tiger Burr trusted most. They met up when they could at the border until the fall of the clans. Tiger Burr ran away with Viper and hid in Two Lake Place for a while. Eventually, Tiger Burr started to feel ashamed of leaving her clan and running away. She decided to head back and look for survivors. Eventually, Tiger Burr caught wind of new clans being formed. She wanted to join and asked Viper to come with her. Viper did not want to join, but she said that if Tiger Burr did, she would help her find one, and they could go back to meeting by the borders. Now Tiger Burr is searching for the clans with the help of Viper. So, let's go ahead and see what personality traits fit her best. Um, right off the bat, it says that she is quiet, is one of the first things. See, she's quiet and soft-spoken, but she's also... Um, she, is, she has a very specific way of looking at the warrior code. She, um, she feels like the clan cats are too aggressive, so definitely not using the aggressive trait for her, necessarily. Um, she wants to fix everything. I think genius might work, because she's always thinking about ways to improve and fix the warrior code and change all the flaws that are in it. Um... Let's see, what else? She doesn't know her own... It says that she doesn't know her own strength sometimes. I kind of feel like maybe clueless, perhaps? Maybe? Uh, that's more like forget what they're doing and are easily distracted. I don't know why you can be both clueless and a genius. Like, personality-wise, it makes sense, but mechanics-wise, in the game... They cancel each other out. So that doesn't make much sense to me, but... Let's see... Um... She's closed off, but if you take the time to befriend her and earn her trust... Maybe independent? They prefer to be on their own? Maybe... I think I'll go ahead and do that. Because she's more closed off. See, I'll go ahead and 
maybe leave her voice about the middle range. Okay, so that's Tiger Burr, and she was submitted by Gardner Golfie. So let me go ahead and write that in. Submitted by Gardner Golfie. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the second cat, Viper. <laughs> okay, so for some reason, what I did because my game has been giving me some trouble recently, I decided to go ahead and save Tiger Bird to my library in case my game crashed so I wouldn't have to completely recreate her. Because she was in my library, she popped up right away. Hi, it's Tiger Burr once again. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I guess Viper is the next cat. And Viper, I believe, is a rogue. So I'll go ahead and type in Viper Rogue. And she is actually a trans she-cat. Thankfully, I actually do have a mod. I can use story progression to kind of tweak some things. So that I don't have to, mechanically, I don't have to hit male for everything to work out the way it should. Uh, the game will still use she, her pronouns, but I can use story progression to change some things so that mechanically uh, she will still be true to herself, I suppose. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably pull her into the game a little bit later in this video, just to kind of show how I go about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and create her. Right off the bat, her appearance is... She is pure white and has long but scraggly fur. Her fur is pointy and messy as she barely takes the time to groom it. She has pale lavender eyes and large ears that point upward and a fluffy tail. So, I feel like, right off the bat, let's go ahead and change to a different cat. Uh, let's start with a chartreuse, perhaps. That size difference right off the bat. Tiger Burr is definitely a huge cat. Okay, so... She is a white cat. Pure white, so let me go ahead and pull this in. What I can do, even if she's a pure white cat, I'll, I'll leave this white marking. I might actually tweak the white marking just a bit to be something a little different. Um, let's see. Maybe. Um, it's barely noticeable. Or, it's gone now. Either way, let me go ahead and tweak that white to something a little different. Barely noticeable. It just changes things up a little bit, gives a little more of a dynamic to the fur itself. There we go. Even though she's supposed to be a pure white cat, what I sometimes do is I try to put some markings in the fur that are still white so that um, if by any chance um, she and her mate have kits, uh, what we can do is sometimes these markings will appear just so that like like oh like she's a white cat some white will appear on the kits. So let me go ahead I can do like a little white tail tip. I can do some white paws. Like, let's do some, like, white socks on each of these kits. On each foot, there may be some white socks. And do I want to do anything on the back? Maybe just something a little bit like that. 
it kind of cuts into that uh, slightly darker mark and definitely brings out the textured look that I go for a lot of the time. So that's fun. Okay, first shape, right off the bat, I know I want to do... There's one that says long tail, or fluffy tail, actually. Where's fluffy tail? Uh, fluffy rear, medium length, fluffy, short length, long combs, long... Fluffy tail. It's one of the first things that it says. Bring the fur density up there, kind of make it look a little bit scraggly, almost. You can also kind of change the curlingness a bit, kind of... Make it look a bit scragglier. There we go. It's a fun kind of scraggly look to the cat. Now let's go ahead and start changing up the body type once again. Actually, she has long but scraggly fur, so I'm going to actually balance that out with another fur type. So, uh, let me go back to the coat. Sorry, sweetie, we keep going I'm doing this over again. Let's see. Long. Let me kind of like do this like halfway between fluffy tail and long. Or actually, I have a thing I can use even with long fur that will give her a super fluffy tail with the body type. So let me go ahead and pull her in there. So body type, right off the bat, where's tail thickness? Tail length, tail thickness. Let's go ahead and see how thick we can get that. That is a super fluffy tail. Look at that floof. This is a super fluffy tail. That's very fun. I may make the tail a tad longer. Not too long, just a little bit. Let's see. Uh, do I want to change her size at all? Anything else? Um, I may kind of pull her neck in just a bit. Make it not so thick. Uh, face, um, let's see, I'm not sure, body, I might make her just a tiny bit smaller, not too small, just like that, basically. There'll be quite a size difference between her and her mate, but that'll be kind of fun, actually. Okay, so she has lavender eyes. Pale lavender eyes. So let me go ahead and kind of get to like a pale lavender color going here. Like so. Let's see, that's actually a very pretty color. Very pale kind of lavender color. I do really like this look. She is a very pretty cat. Let's see, eye shape. I may make a little more like this, perhaps. Eye skill, I may pull down a bit. Do we want to rotate the eyes at all? Yeah, I think this, this is good. It's ears right off the bat. She has large, e large ears that point upwards. So let's go ahead and give her some pretty large ears. Ear position height. Top of the head. Ear tip angle. A little bit more upwards. Ear shape. Make pointier. That's fun. And we'll give her a pink nose. I 
I think that this kind of works out. Let's see, jaw width. I may pull here. Cheekbone definition. Cheek definition. I don't know. I do. I, I think I like this. I think I like how Viper looks like this. So let me go ahead and read off her personality. My phone turned off, so let me turn that back on. Um, Viper is not known for being easy to get along with. She is charismatic, sure, but her lying and tricks turn away many cats from her. She flirts for fun, rules mean nothing to her, and she hates listening to other cats. Viper is distrustful of everyone, but will say that, but will never say that out late. It took her a very long time to warm up to Tiger Burr. Viper tries to protect her heart by pushing people away with her lies. She is always worried that someone she cares about will betray her. Viper doesn't believe in Star Clan. She says that if they really existed, they should actually help the cats of the world. Viper grew up in a in a Viper grew up in a group of rogues. The group stayed together for protection, but were not a clan. They had no leader or medicine cat and did not believe in Star Clan. She learned fighting from whoever would teach her, and found herself going on raids of other groups' territories when she was old enough. One raid took her into Thunder Clan territory. There she met Tiger Burr. They fought, but Tiger Burr spared her when she when she won. Viper grew interested in this cat and snuck into Thunder Clan territory to meet her. Soon these meetings became normal, and Tiger Burr and Viper found themselves becoming friends. Eventually, Viper caught feelings, but panicked as she was still worried about a betrayal. She kept quiet for some time until eventually she confessed everything, her love, her fears, and her worries. Tiger Burr listened and said that she felt the same, but if Viper wasn't ready, it didn't have to go anywhere. Viper made a split-second decision to trust Tiger Burr and they became mates. They still met up whenever they could, until the fall of the clans. Viper helped Tiger Burr escape, and they lived in the Two Lake place for a while. One day, Tiger Burr told Viper that she wanted to go back to the clans. Viper agreed to help Tiger Burr find the clan cats who lived, but did not want to join. She still wanted to be together, so she said that they could go back to meeting up at night. Now they are looking for the clans together. So, uh, for personality traits... Let's see, uh, she is closed off and tends to lie to protect herself. Um, not skittish. I feel like independent, once again, they tend to be closed off cats who prefer to be on their own. Um, probably independent, once again. Still prefers to be on her own. Definitely not, definitely not neat. What is the opposite of neat? She doesn't groom herself is one of the things it says. Um... That would probably be Piggy, actually. They don't mind munching garbage or drinking from the toilet. Um... Neither one of those will probably show up a ton. Destructive, maybe. I don't know. One of those two, I feel like. Either Piggy or... Let's go with Piggy, I think. That kind of works out, yeah. Let's see, aside from that... Uh, I feel like aggressive may fit her. They aren't inherently mean, they just have a bad attitude when interacting with others. And... Well, she's also charismatic, that's the thing. Does aggressive necessarily mean... Aggressive doesn't necessarily mean that she's charismatic, but she's a very good liar. So... Proud? They think they're better than others, make their own image a top priority. They can't... That wouldn't work, because they can't stand having low hygiene. Doesn't necessarily work for her. Hmm... Maybe aggressive? I can't think of what might be better? Um... I'll go with aggressive for now. 
She could still be charismatic. It'll just... Hmm. See, she th she's distrustful, took her a very long time to warm up to others. An aggressive cat does take a long time to get along with others. Let me pitch her voice down just a little bit. And okay. I'll go ahead and once again, submitted by Gardener Golfy. I don't know why she pulled she popped up as a duplicate initially. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pull her in- I'm gonna go ahead and pull them into the world before I wrap up the episode and show how I can change up things so that uh, she will show up as herself rather than just a regular old she-cat, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so I have pulled Viper. And, um, and Tiger Burr into a lot just temporarily. Uh, they're not officially going to be added to the world until the next time that I, um, that I start doing some rotations. But, um, anyway. For Tiger Burr, I've also pulled just a random Tom in just so I can compare some stuff. So I said, what I can do is use story progression. What I go to is I go into sim options... And for she-cats, there's a very specific stuff around, like, where all the pregnancy options are. One of the first things I want to do is set allow can be pregnant to false. So, right off the bat, that has been changed. I'm also going to double check uh, this old guy over here. Uh... One mod. Let me go ahead, double check story progression. All of those same pregnancy options are here, but they're different. Like allow can be pregnant is false, allow participation, true. There's the disallow can be pregnant case, which is females, meaning that uh, typically females cannot impregnate, but um, then there is... where is it? Disallow participation. Which is males. So for that, I'm going to go ahead... And with Viper, gonna have to set the same stuff. So, sim options. I've already set the allow can be pregnant to false. But I'm also going to do allow participation case. And the... Was it that one? Or... Was it disallow can be pregnant and disallow participation? Okay, so disallow can be pregnant. I'm gonna have to double check once again. I'm gonna have to do this like one at a time. I'm so sorry. So, buddy, let me double check your thing. First up, aside from the can be pregnant, uh, disallow can be pregnant was females. So let me go ahead and I can just do Viper from right here, I suppose. Story progression, sim options, uh, disallow can be pregnant is females. And then, disallow participation was the other one, yeah? Let's change that to males. Let me double check and make sure I did that right. Yeah, females is now regular, ma males disabled. Okay. So hopefully, Viper should be okay with all that. Hopefully everything will work out fine like that. If not, um, I can I can definitely like always tweak some more stuff. I'm I'm gonna have to try and figure out how to do this best in the future. But for now, I can pull the two of them back in as um, 
as our old household. But anyway, that is the general idea of how I'm going to be going about doing this. There's a couple other trans cats in the world. This helps me to, like, make sure that the pronouns are right when the game pops up, because otherwise it completely throws me off. It's already happened to some of the non-binary cats, like Duckfeather and Mouse and some of the others. I really hate that it does that. But, um, anyway. This should hopefully help. And I... Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this episode, and... Um, if you like, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you have any cats to submit, please go ahead and submit them. I am, as I've said before, I'm giving priority to people who have not had a cat added to the world yet, people who have not had their cats in an episode yet. Even if you've already created a cat, um, you can still submit. It's just going to be a little while before they show up in an episode of the Create Your Cat series. But anyway... Um, go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already, and you'll be able to watch the next videos when they come out, and I will see you guys next video. Stay safe out there, friends.